Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review Leprechaun Origins. Has the Leprechaun series luck run out? This is a movie by Lionsgate and WWE Studios, directed by Zach Lepofsky and starring Brendan Fletcher of 13 Eerie, Freddy vs. Jason, and Ginger Snaps. This movie is about a group of kids who backpack around Ireland. They make their way to a remote village where some of the townspeople offer to take them on a tour. They are brought out to a remote cabin and locked in. The villager baits the cabin with gold, leaving the kids to be hunted by a villainous crafty leprechaun. Just to make it clear, this film doesn't have any ties to the rest of the Leprechaun franchise. We knew this going in, so all of our thoughts are based on this film in itself. Not talking about the Warwick Davis series that we've grown to love. Alright, so what did we like? The film overall looked really, really nice. The drone shots the over like the big fields in Ireland, it looked really, really cool. The lighting in like basements got that nice atmospheric haze that kind of like enhances all the light. I really liked the acting. All of the characters played a perfect role and they presented themselves greatly on screen. Brendan Fletcher, he was really good. And then Sophie, who was played by Stephanie Bennett, she was like the history buff. I liked that they didn't overplay her history knowledge. I liked the slow reveal of the leprechaun character. It was just glances here and there. It's nice and refreshing to have them kind of build the suspense. I know there was a lot of hate because of the poster looking like Pumpkinhead. He, I think he looked fairly decent for what he was. The gore that we got to see, the blood and the makeup, was very well done. Normally now we would do our favorite kills, although in this movie there's not that many of them and the ones that they we do get are very intense with the practical effects. It's quite an experience. We're going to leave that for you and not spoil it at all. So we're going to move right on to our dislikes. The haze, the lens flare, the beams of light. It looked like the whole film was shot through just a thin layer of Vaseline. I know it was for effect, the dustiness and the murkiness, but the whole movie had like one color to it. It was just dull and brown. At one point, the lens flares, they just, they just tore across the screen from headlights. I hated the fact that whenever the leprechaun was on the hunt, it would cut to predator style, black and gold and night vision. It just makes it seem tacky and really takes away from like the jump scare and the thriller feel that's going on in this film. Mm -hmm. We had like random POV shots that were just not necessary and they were just, they were too frequent, I think. Oh, yeah. Also, I felt the whole movie was paced really strangely. We met our characters, we got into the cabin within the first 15 minutes. Within another five minutes, we see the leprechaun. From there, it's a big running around game. Mm -hmm. And I felt like our characters, we didn't get enough character development to really give a shit when any of these people started getting picked off or even care if they got out, to be honest. Yeah, we knew almost nothing about these people. We knew one person was going for a master's and nothing about the rest. Like even our antagonists, they just pissed off the leprechaun and they're using them as sacrifices. We just had a very bare bones explanation. Okay, there's some stones <laughs> that are set up like an electric fence. We don't know much about Wait, that's, it. Mm -hmm. that, that's the end of some that. Some totems. There there was enough time to work in these loose ends. They could have fixed all of this, oh, considering yeah. the 12-minute credit roll. When you're trying to build a franchise up right now, and you're trying to establish this really awesome and new leprechaun, show it. Like, at least once, show a full body shot that isn't like a quick cut or half the body is covered in darkness. You hired Hornswoggle, a WWE wrestler, to be in this movie. It didn't matter. He didn't <laughs> yeah. have to be. He was so heavily mm. make and mm. they only ever showed the top half of him or the bottom half of him at any one time. Yeah. It could have been a puppet. When we watch See No Evil, we want to see Kane as the killer. In Leprechaun, I want to see Hornswoggle as a leprechaun. And now for our final thoughts and ratings. I thought the cinematography was really well done. All of the sets, the acting, the atmosphere, and the lighting were all really good as well. They could have done a little more on-screen kills, and they probably should have worked on some of the story and the character development a little bit better so that it didn't have such a fast pace throughout 75% of the film because I really didn't care that much. So I'm going to give this to snorry cam shots out of five. 
For me, this film wasn't really a reboot, but more of a reimagining. It wasn't them stealing gold and the leprechaun going after them. It was more the gold was baiting them as sacrifice. So I thought that was a really clever twist. I enjoyed the cinematography, I enjoyed the acting, and I enjoyed the lighting. The only things I didn't like was we didn't get a lot of kills and we didn't get to see the leprechaun, which is a huge, huge factor in this. So that being said, I'm going to give this two queen size beds out of five. Oh, we got a queen size! As John said, it is more of a reimagining. However, it's so marginally connected to leprechauns. Uh, really only that it takes place in Ireland and he's vaguely attracted attracted to gold and jewels. The movie took itself very seriously until the very end we got the only comedic light point and I thought it was very out of place. Fuck you, Lucky Charms. That kind of marred the whole movie for me. Uh, otherwise, it was a by the numbers as average type of slasher movie you can get. That being said, I will give this movie two and a half mystery pints of beer out of five. Now that's what we thought about the film. If you've seen it, let us know in the comments below. Like this video, sub to the channel to stay updated with our reviews and our games of What Would You Do? And let us know in the comments what your favorite WWE Studios film is. Mine at this point is probably The Marine.